Q, Q. <clears throat> and our fourth laureate is, <laughs> any guesses? Martin Short. <laughs> <laughs> An award-winning actor, Martin Short is known for his comic genius, his perfect timing, <laughs> and his serious acting chops. His many films include Three Amigos, Inner Space, Father of the Bride, Parts 1 and 2. Oh, and did I mention Mars Attacks? No. With Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Mr. Short is also a star of the stage from its earliest days in the remarkable cast of Godspell in Toronto. To damages, his one-man one Broadway hit, Martin Short, Fame Becomes Me, and his Tony Award winning revival of Little Me. But he is perhaps best known for his indelible characters. Ed Grimley, Jackie Rogers Jr., Irving Cohen, Nathan Thurn. Introduced to the world in SCTV and Saturday Night Live and his dozens and dozens of memorable talk show, primetime, and theatrical appearances. Your Excellency, Martin Short. Thank you. Just because I say thank you, it doesn't mean you have to stop applauding. <clears throat> oh, no, no. Don't be silly. Um, your ex excellencies, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me first say that I can't tell you how humble this tremendous honor makes a huge Canadian icon like myself feel. <laughs> Really, what could I possibly have done to deserve this kind of recognition other than provide decades of quality entertainment? <laughs> Sincerely, I'm so flattered and overwhelmed. And needless to say, we all know that any compliment or acknowledgement to one's work is a delight at any time and in any form. But for me, there's no greater delight than when your own family tells you that they're proud of you or one's own country. Uh, but patriotic pride, for me, certainly goes both ways. I have loved and have been so proud of being a Canadian my entire life. It is like being the hippest member of any club you'd want to join. Uh, as someone who spent so much of his time in the United States, keep in mind, we're, we're the aliens they don't deport. Um, I can honestly say that I've never met an American who wasn't just a tad bit envious of my passport, particularly in the last five months for some reason. <laughs> and why, I wonder? Well. Multicultural harmony. Canada established that long ago, becoming one of the models of the world. Universal health care. We did that long ago. Sensible gun control policy. Again, long ago. Inspiring some of the most influential and funniest people in comedy. Well, <laughs> Canada is still doing that. Oh, and we have Justin Trudeau and they don't. Um, <laughs> artists thrive and evolve in this country, I think, because Canada has always been unconditionally accepting to all the fascinating variations of the human condition. I mean, let's face it, only in Canada could a television show celebrating such unusual character work as SCTV could possibly exist, let alone thrive. I have been so lucky to work with some of the greatest, brilliant, Canadian actors and comedians imaginable, including our fellow Laurier, Michael J. Fox, in a little film called Mars Attacks, yes. 
Our greatest acting accomplishment was trying to be cool in front of Jack Nicholson, which we didn't pull off. <laughs> yes, when this little Hamiltonian sees that gorgeous red maple leaf flapping in the wind, my heart still skips a beat. And if I happen to be wearing a vest, well, the buttons literally pop off. <laughs> yes, pride goes both ways, and I'm so proud to have my brilliant and gorgeous children here tonight to see their daddy receive this great and lovely honor. Your Excellency's honored guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you so.